Well, on to our fifth and final story of the program. A survey published in a French daily indicates Islamophobia is on the rise in the country. Over 60% of the French believe the rate has gone up sharply in recent years. A similar percentage says that they only know little about Islam, although they consider it to be a peaceful religion. Anoussa Boy has this report. Being a Muslim is not easy in France, where stigmatization is widespread. That's what has emerged from a survey by the leading Le Parisien JDD newspaper. 76% of the French say Islamophobia is rising sharply in their country. Since 2011, Islamophobia has been rising consistently year on year. Between 2014 and 2015, we've registered the sharpest rise. Let's not forget that we have another six months to go before this year ends, and we're already at the highest levels on record. Despite the Charlie Hebdo attacks being carried out in the name of Islam, 55% of the French say they still have a positive image of the religion. And yet, those who follow Islam say discrimination is rife. Muslim women face the highest levels of Islamophobia, particularly with visible signs like the headscarf. The French don't understand what Islam is. When they see women in headscarves, when they see a burdened man, they automatically think about terrorists. It's sad that they will never ask a Muslim about the religion. They read the press, which has done a lot of damage to the reputation of our religion, which is all about peace. As such, the French are not Islamophobic, but the biggest source of discrimination is the state. That's why there's a difference between public opinion, which is not that hostile to Muslims, and the acts of discrimination that Muslims face each time they interact with the state and the administrative services. As long as the state does nothing to prevent discrimination in the public sector, this phenomenon will continue to rise. Observers say recognizing Islamophobia is the first step the government has taken to fight the problem. But they add that much more has to be done. Anustra Proy, Press TV, Paris.